Costa. I'm Johnny Ketchman. I'm Rafal Hayda. I'm Jada Bushkarich. I'm Erica Thompson. And we're talking um, about stress and how you can deal with it. And we're also talking about how you can cope with it and uh, prevent it also. Okay. <laughs> definition of stress is disruption in one's psychological balance and sense of harmony. Stress comes from a stressor, which is a condition that initiates stress response. Some examples of stressors could be exams or public speaking for most people. Stress is perceived differently by each individual. Next, I'm going to talk about the causes of stress. There are many different sources um, that stress comes from. Like we learned in class, um, harm and loss is a source of stress, which could be death, stolen property, injury, also threat, uh, like the fear of the unknown or being stuck in traffic, um, a challenge such as a new job or moving from home, marriage, graduation, could also cause stress. Um, and then there are some signs of chronic stress. These signs um, that you should look out for include fatigue, headaches, uh, disturbances in your sleep, um, inability to concentrate, depression, um, denial of the problem, and increased illness. negative stress. Um, negative stress has effects on your body. Uh, first is distress, which is negative, stress, negative body responses to excessive stress. Some characteristics of distress could, is, could be causes anxiety or concern. Um, it could be short, short term or long term. It feels unpleasant. It decreases performance, um, and it could lead to mental and physical issues. Some examples um, that could cause distress could be death of a family member, unemployment, illness, money issues, sleep problems, uh, divorce, or conflict in relationships. Not all stress is bad. Um, as we learned in class, there is a positive sort of stress called eustress, which is good stress, pleasure, meaning in life. Some characteristics of eustress is that it motivates, uh, focuses your energy, it's usually short term, feels, makes you feel excited, and improves your performance. Um, some examples of things that could cause eustress could be marriage, starting a new job, moving, having a baby, graduation, um, or the holidays. So I'll be talking about the physiological effects in the body and how it, uh, stress affects the body. It begins in the sympathetic nervous system, which will dilate your pupils, increase your heart rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate, and it will inhibit your digestive system. When you're feeling stressed, uh, fearful, or joy, the hypothalamus will send a signal to the anterior pituitary gland, which the anterior pituitary gland will secrete ACTH hormone and the endocrine system and the nervous system will also secrete some hormones in response in those feelings. As, the, as those hormones secrete into your system, the adrenal cortex increases your blood pressure and increases your volume. Stress will have effects on the body. It will suppress the immune system, which is 
influenced by the endocrine system and the nervous system. It will lower the ability of your body to respond to diseases or illnesses, so it can increase the susceptibility to many different diseases. Some of the physical effects on the body uh, can be headaches, sweating, lower back pain, and sleep disturbance. You can also experience shaking, chest pains, stomach pains, and rain in ears. Stress can also affect the mind. It can affect the, um, your behaviors as well. Stress occurs in the limbic system, which is the center for emotion, memory, hormone production, and other things as well. You may have experienced changing appetite when you are stressed, and it can increase or decrease your appetite more than usual. As a result, it can cause a range of anxiety or depression, and you will feel a constant sense of worrying or fear or anger. You can also, uh, stress can also cause an inability to focus, so it will be hard, harder to concentrate, and this will lead to forgetfulness and poor judgment. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about coping with stress and ways to deal with stress. So uh, coping with stress can often be difficult and everyone has their own way of coping with stress. Everybody has their own specific way and the way they want to do things, which is fine. And people will react to stress and cope in their own ways. Three reactions and coping mechanisms, that there are reactions and coping mechanisms that can be classified into two categories, which is seen up here is type A and type B. Now I'm going to talk about talk a little bit about the two types of coping and uh, type A. This type of coping is when a person always has an urgent sense of time and is uh, unable to relax. Also, it's when they feel pressured on tasks, feel very impatient. They're very competitive with everything they do, and they they are all they tend to be always worried with everything in their surroundings. The second type is type B. And this type of coping is when a person is usually unhurried, very relaxed and laid back, doesn't feel pressured with tasks in comparison to type A, and is very relaxed at all times, tends to procrastinate a lot on projects such as school projects and other things like that, and usually doesn't worry about deadlines when it comes to project or tasks that need to be done at a specific time. We usually wait till the day before, feel very relaxed about it, don't feel pressured either. And both of these types are accurate representations of how people can react and cope with different types of stress. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about ways of dealing with stress. And uh, one, one thing that we learned in class was hardiness is often emphasized with the three C's, which is challenge, control, and commitment. And another important factor with dealing with stress is sleep is very important. It's important for everything, and seven to eight hours is essential and can often relieve stress by getting that sufficient amount of sleep that you need. Uh, there are also some relaxation techniques that are learned, and they can, they can be performed in a variety of ways that we will later be showing, maybe a couple of them in our lab portion. And some of the ways are uh, deep breathing, meditation, visualization, biofeedback, autogenics, and personal alone and quiet time. And also, another way of dealing with stress is music therapy. It's a good method to perform to help deal with stress. And just on this side, more ways to deal with stress. Uh, massage therapy is a way to deal with stress, which you can perform uh, Tai Chi, humor, 
soothing sounds of music and different types of massaging. Also, another big way of dealing with stress that some people like to do and is uh, exercising and being physically active and can contribute to relieving and dealing with stress. And a lot of times exercise helps relieve a lot of that stress. And also another thing for some people, uh, having a sense of spirituality has also been shown to help with stress. Also another big thing of dealing with stress is having a positive attitude. If you have a negative attitude, it's not gonna help to deal with the hard times you're going through. Trying to find positive and bad situations, interrupting negative thoughts, always being thankful for everything in your life and not taking things for granted and most certainly uh, setting positive goals for your life and not focusing on the negative aspects of life. So I'm gonna be talking about stress prevention. The best thing to do to help yourself prevent stress is to keep yourself busy and organized during the day. Have your days planned out and if you can, get your weeks planned out too. This will help you from not getting so stressed and having stress throughout your day. Another important thing to do is keep yourself organized daily. Uh, know exactly where you're, what you're going to do, where you're going to be, so you don't get any unwanted stress. There's some different ideas to help yourself keep from getting unexpected stress. Plan a lunch, uh, make plans with your family, with your friends, and get time to go to the gym. Plan every day with fun activities that you enjoy doing. So now we are going to go to the gym, show you some ways to deal with stress, how to cope with it, and help yourself out. All right, so now for part of our lab portion, we're gonna show you some ways to deal with stress and with different exercises. So I'm gonna show you some different ways of yoga, a couple yoga uh, poses to help you deal with stress. I'm gonna show you some exercises to do when you're in the gym, weightlifting, and different exercises like that. All right, so obviously, like we said, there's many ways to deal with stress and relieve stress, but I'm gonna show you a way some, a couple yoga poses that can help you deal with stress and relieve stress and also increase your flexibility. Now there's, there's multiple ways, but I'm just gonna show you a couple poses. All right, so this pose is called the down dog. And now moving down, this pose is called the up dog. And for many people, there's a variety of ways to do it. There's just a couple. It's all personal preference, but these are just a couple. This one is called the child's pose. And like I said, it increases flexibility a lot too. Well, it also has proven to help uh, relieve stress. So there's, there's many more, but those are just a couple that can help you relieve stress, increase flexibility, and that little bit of physical activity can also help relieve stress too. I'm gonna show you three different deep breathing techniques uh, that you can use to cope with stress. Uh, the first one is, um, goes like this. So you'll take your hand and your pointer middle finger go down and your other fingers are up like this. And your thumb is going to be used to close your right nostril and your ring finger is going to be used to close your left nostril. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, our thumb and close our right nostril and we're going to inhale for four seconds and then we're going to hold our breath for 16 seconds and then keep our thumb on our nostril and exhale for eight seconds like this. Okay, now holding your breath for 16.
and exhale. And you can do it on the other side, like this. And hold your breath. next exercise is a purse slip exercise. So we're going to inhale for four seconds through our nose and then exhale through our mouth with our lips pursed like this. And then exhale. When you exhale, you can just let your breath come out naturally for that one. The third exercise um, it's just an exhalation exercise, and it's all done through our nose. So we're going to inhale through our nose for five seconds and exhale through our nose for five seconds, but um, a lot of people do it with seven or eight seconds. Um, it's more natural, more relaxing um, for anxiety situations. So it'll go like this. And exhale. All right, you can use those techniques um, next time you're feeling stressed about sitting for an exam or um, maybe an event coming up or public speaking. I hope this helps. So what I like to do when I'm stressed out is to exercise, such as running. I usually go on a long run outside, but since today is cold out, I'll be running on a treadmill. And this really helps me relieve my stress. I usually start slow and then gradually increase my speed. And I hope um, this will help you relieve your stress. Maybe you can do other things except uh, instead of running, but this is how I cope with stress. All right, so I'm here with Rob, and we have another fun exercise, physical activity to perform that Rob's gonna show you to help relieve stress and deal with stress. And Rob's gonna take it away. Simple things you can do is the basics, just Throw a couple punches with a bag like this. If you're training in martial arts, you have your palm heel strikes, you have your blade strikes, and you have elbow strikes. Then you can also do some kicking techniques or kick column base. Let's get this start. Here you go. I'm gonna show you a couple exercises I like to do when I'm in the gym when I feel stressed and I want to relieve myself. So, got dumbbells here uh, for curls. I'm gonna show you some curls I do. Um, focus on form, keep your shoulder blades back, lock, make sure to contract the uh, bicep. Then over here, we have the um, press machine. So for this, I like to also focus on form, particularly lightweight, um, high reps. Make sure you lock back, make your own actual bench, press, contract the uh, chest at the top. So I'm going to show you how to do some of these exercises. So the curls. You can do uh, single arm curls. Uh, I like to rotate. You get more of a squeeze. Or you can do double. For doubles I do uh, regular curls. Standard. Control the weight up. Control it down. Don't be in a rush. So, let's do the uh, press machine. So, we got the bar where it's 
semi even with your chest, moving on a little lower, arch back, get your blades locked, press in, press out, squeeze your chest, come back down. So those are just a couple of the many exercises I like to do in the gym to relieve stress. So in conclusion, we just want to thank you for your time and we hope that this presentation can help you learn a lot more about stress. There are many effects on the body, such as pains in the body, and it can also affect the mind, such as changing behavior. There are also many ways to cope and deal with stress, as we assured you. We hope you have a great day, and thank you for watching.